Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Physics Playground, where we visit every single POI in 7 Days to Die. This is a new POI in Alpha 20 and it's called the Collision Center, or really it's called Body underscore Shop underscore Zero One. A lovely looking POI and we are going to spend some time today going through it, finding that loot and smashing some zombie heads. As we always do, we set the time to 9am in the morning. I have club in hand and we're running a two hour day so you can compare every video in this series and see how long it takes to get through them. So let's head off through this. When I first saw this POI, I thought, was it orientated correctly? Uh, because there are two signs, but this is the correct face of the building because in here we have a front door and we also have the area you would pay for the work done on your car. We see that this roofing has collapsed and we have plenty of cars available. You would do in a body shop, wouldn't you? Where you could wrench away and get lots of different nice parts in game. But first we're going to head around the side because I see a little vending machine. Unfortunately it is not uh, one that I can use right now. And in this window we see the obvious there'll be a zombie behind this wooden door, I think. And also a little path around the corner. So let's go in here. Now, this alleyway here splits two buildings. So we have the, the kind of visiting area and the actual work area. And even though I cannot jump over this without any parkour, uh, I see there's no zombies, which is great. Um, there is a dog. There is a dog and there's some trash. And this dog is not being activated, which is, well... Not very good. We expect more from our POIs. We expect these things. Thank you very much, Doggo. We expect them to hurt us and scare us. A plastic barrel. Thank you very much for the water. Ugh, they are very, very, very disgusting. And there's a second. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And he flew, didn't he? So, yeah. Two little dogs. We have a, a locked door here. Oh, and a zombie hiding behind a pipe. Okay, I'll remember that one. Let's keep on going round. Any more dogs? More garbage. More things we can wrench. In fact, could we not? Could we have not just jumped up on the side of this fence and uh, got rid of those dogs without any problems? I bet we could. I bet we could. Anyway, through this next window, we see the main body shop. And I don't see any zombies in there. And coming around the front, we have more trash, more cars. And, of course, the obligatory behind-the-scenes dumpster. That's very smelly. So, what a great place to get some resources, for sure, and very beautiful looking indeed. There is also a little gap here. I don't think... No, I cannot. There's no chance of me getting through there. I can't see any zombies, too. We have a broken door, which usually is a sign to knock it down. But I'm not going to go in to do that, because we have this front door. So, club out. It's a tier 2 POI, and the quests that are available are clear and fetch so is there anything here it's gonna be a bit of a problem for me so far so good a coffee machine a cash register let's have a look and see what lovelies are in there gorgeous bits of loot some water and a plant pot so you could just walk in here as you walk past this poi without encountering a zombie at all next we have a little area at the back with what's in there oh there's an ammo pile thank you very much and also a little bit of food and, oh, and here we are. We're in this little area that I saw before. And I bet you, if we decide to knock this... Oh, I was expecting a zombie in there. That's... Oh, okay. A late spawner. Mmm. Mmm, I don't like that at all. We have a... Uh, oh, we've got a roof hole and uh, a broken ladder. And I bet you there's some loot up there. There is a little bit of uh, foul trash. Uh, more trash cans. Not forgetting... Um, this door here as well, where I'm, where we have a zombie, and this zombie is also going to be an easy kill. Very simple. What did you do in the toilet, young man? Oh, just some paper. Good. I'm glad you wiped. A sink. All the usual. Nothing in the ceiling. Okay, let's continue. So so far we got two dogs, which I could have uh, easily hit in the head. This guy that I have shot in the feet. And if this person spawned, I think I would have also hit them. Kind of easy, bit silly. Here's that intervening area with trash and all of this kind of thing. And well, it looks beautiful, but uh, oh, look, there's more trash behind there. 
But I'm waiting for the big bad zombies. I want, I want, I want to have a fight. Come on. Um. Okay, we've got an upstairs area. Not much going around here. More toilets, more zombies. I'm sure. Um. Hello. Yeah, you're joking me. Okay, that's that's silly. That's silly. I, I want my zombies to jump out at me. So that's not very good. Is there any more in here? Hello. Hello. Oh, another delayed zombie. Come on. He's gone. So placements of zombies may not be too good in this POI. We'll see if there is something a lot more scarier later. We have a mouldy backpack too, which has... Ooh, nice. Tier 6 padded, padded gloves. Very, very good indeed. So what else do we have? Filing cabinets. They're always good for a bit of loot, but not today for me. Uh, there's our little dodgy door, which we could have broken into. A water cooler and a lovely sedan. What is this car going to give me today? Ah, three pipes. Never say no to a few pipes. Got to be someone hiding around the back here. Oh, no, there isn't. We also have a dodgy vent with some trash in it. And some not-so-dodgy vents with 5,000 hit points. Wow. So more cars, plenty to wrench. Definitely worth waiting until you've got a um, some kind of tool to uh, to do that. Can I walk underneath here? Yes, I can. Fantastic. And, uh, ah, that pipe. Wasn't there a... I think there's a zombie behind there. Brilliant. We know that's happening. Let's try and jump up here. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. And, oh, there's another one. Oh, and another ammo pile. Um, Hang on a second. Let me grab this ammo pile. There it is. A few more bullets. Again, another zombie that is just going to uh, be killed because, well, because you can. Um, hey, I'm finding this a bit silly, really. Let me jump up here. And what about this fella? Let me crouch. Look at that. Look at that. Bam. Back of the head. Thank you for the loot bag. Uh, so nothing that's activated very well so far in this POI, but its looks are beautiful. Let me just check and see if anything is hiding around the corner. Nope, this looks like an empty area. So let's pop back over and up the ladder. And hopefully when we're here... Oh, we have one zombie. And he did activate. Thank you very much, mate. Let me just finish you off. Is any loot round here? No loot, just things again. More to wrench, more to wrench. Pipes, all of these things can be knocked out as well. I think you get most out of these. Anywhere you see a joint, that's where you're going to get lots of uh, lovely iron from as well. Okay, so we have a locked door and a lovely key. Brilliant. Okay, out we come. And any birds? Any birds? Always looking on the roof for birds. There's that open little part that we saw with the ladder coming up. We have the roof, which is beautiful. I really like the look of this using the new shapes um, in Seven Days to Die. And a broken area here enticing us to make the jump across. We have a sports weathered bag here with some... Wow, that's a pretty good find in there. And still nothing around here. Another ammo pile. Thank you very much. And another another weathered sports bag. Okay. Well, it's all free loot. In fact, you could just jump up here, couldn't you, from the side and grab this loot without any problem. I'm guessing they're all on the roof, though. Come on, up we come. Oh, there we go. Where are they? Whoa! Okay. They. There's some definite late spawning issues. And, and are you joking me? If, <laughs> I'm guessing they activate when you get on this flat area here. And let me just test it out. Oh my gosh. So you can just you can just walk around here without activating the zombies. I've never been this near to one of these birds before. That is absolutely crazy. So let's whack that one around the head. That is going to wake everyone else up. We will get rid of them. Some Steve's. Oh, some noisy Steve's on the floor. Let's get rid of these two as well. There we go. And that's it. The final loot. It's just a tier two. That's about the level I expected. But I expect my zombies to come at me rather than be easily killed. A nice ammo pile at the end. Medical supply. And I have spawned here a Shamway Foods and a Shotgun Messiah chest. And of course, the end loot here is this leather case. Or leather trunk as it's called with oh wow a desert vulture oh beautiful in our sham way we have some food of course and shotgun has a big machete pretty good and loot actually it's always luck of course but it's pretty good let's uh just check out down here because there is a little bit more uh we are kind of asked to jump across here 
and this was the opening with the ladder down, which we'll go through in a second. But first, around the side, because there is, I did see this cheeky little bit of sport trash, and a bit through there as well. So there's the broken hole, break through here, two planes of glass, and there we go, a bit more trash. Nothing hiding over there. Okay, well, that may well be it. Let's nip back around and complete it fully by nipping down this little ladder, which was broken. And we should pop out down here. And there we go. We've done it. This is it. The good old collision center. Wow, okay. Beautiful. But I'm going to say disappointing. Those zombies are absolutely to kill. Now, this is immensely cheesable. And I have a feeling you could probably do most of this POI straight away with a bow and arrow. I'm going to give it a go. And uh, we'll see if we can cheese this base. Well, here we are on my other game where we're set up as a day one survivor with no points spent at all. Uh, not even the four that you get from the trader. Let's go in and see how far we can go on a cheese. I'll speed up the video here and there just so it's very easy to see. And we'll start with this dog. Right, there we have it. And besides the other zombies, the other locals that uh, are trying to kill me right now, um, <laughs> which I'll get rid of in a moment, uh, that was really quite easy. You could probably, if you got lucky, get every single one before they even started to move. We still have up here to do. As you can see, the zombies don't even activate. But the way I'm going to cheese that is if I was walking past the POI. So I'll go back round to the front and we'll see if we can get all the loot without getting killed. So I've come back round quickly to the uh, collision centre, and as you saw, I, I went through, but I'm going to imagine we're walking past and we're going to use frames to get all this stuff. My frames are in hand, and uh, we're going to come out one, because I noticed with those letters, I bet you, there we go, I can't place a block. So we're going to come out one from the side of the building and frame our way to the very top of the building and place one here. Okay, so next we're going to place one again away from the building because as I go up here, I want to go as high as possible. Hopefully, all those zombies, yes, they have now activated. We'll go back to our bow and crouch, and I'm hoping now I'm killing one without waking up the rest. So hopefully, we could just clear up here and get all the loot whatsoever. Okay, oh, it's a long shot. Yeah, nowhere near. Much further I need to go. Still didn't wake up, did they? And then this fella, well, I should get his head. But what I'm going to do is just to make sure is I'm going to take a, another frame here. And I'm going to place it on the side just so I can get a better shot at his head. Still not great, is it? We shall see. Okay. Oh, I've hit the old chest. There we go. Got it perfectly. So there we go. We can kill everything. It is entirely cheesable. And uh, we just run over here and we get our loot. So let's open it up and see what goodies we are going to find here. Absolutely brilliant. This time I've got a pop and pills. And I also have a pass and gas. Still got the medical supplies and the ammo and the leather little briefcase thing. Or what do they call it? Trunk. I've got to remember that word. Gorgeous things in there. We'll grab it all and then we'll go and have a look. And we'll give this POI a rating. Medical supplies, ammo pile. And can I also, I just want to check, can I also jump up here? Yay, that's quite nice. What a lovely view. A lovely view of the physics playground. So, back down we go. And we can have a look at the gorgeous things that we have got. There they are. 
we have managed to get some ammunition, a pipe baton, a few books, some parts, medical supplies, a recog, and even an iron fire axe, which is quite cool, isn't it? So there we go. The collision center, also known as body underscore shop underscore zero one. Hmm. How am I going to rate this? Well, it looks very nice, except I've left all my frames up there. But it, uh, it looks beautiful. But you can kill everything. That isn't a tier two. That's not done well enough. Things should activate. It should not be that easy. This is going to get, I don't know, three out of ten. Three out of ten. Beautifulness, lovely. Every time I pass this ever in game, I'm going in there and just sweeping through it and getting it. Because, you know, that, that that's simple. But it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? We're looking for POIs that look beautiful. Tick. But we're also looking for them to, to challenge us and be something a bit different and a bit scarier. So I think, come on, seven days to die, fun pimps. We want to see better than that, don't we? So there we go. This is another episode of all the POIs in seven days to die. We just tried another new one for Alpha 20. We have hundreds and hundreds of more to come every time this week on a Monday, on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. So thank you for joining me and staying to the end of the video and have a great time. I'll see you later. Bye.